everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create custom patterned tape for GoodNotes using Affinity Designer for iPad. Now, while I'm using the iPad version of the app, the same steps apply in the desktop version as well as Publisher and Photo. So as long as you know where the tools are located, you can easily follow along. So what are we creating here? Well, in GoodNotes with the latest update, they now have patterned tape and you can see that there are several built in, but you also have the ability to upload your own from files. So I'm going to head into designer and make a seamless pattern that I can pull in here for my own tape designs. I'm in designer and I have a canvas set up to 1000 by 1000 pixels at 72 DPI. This is digital tape. It's not going to be printed. So 72 is just fine. If you plan to then take this pattern and print it, make sure you're setting your DPI to at least 300. Now I want to create a seamless design so that this is going to tile any length or size that I create in GoodNotes. I'm going to stick to a basic gingham pattern, but you can create any seamless pattern you'd like. The one thing that I want to note though, is that the pattern on the tape ends up being rather small. So the more detailed or the smaller the motif, the smaller the pattern is, and the more difficult it's going to be to see what it is. So I recommend sticking to motifs that are a little bit larger and maybe have less detail. Now I already have a rectangle in place that's an off white color. I'm going to select this and I want to duplicate this twice. I'm going to change the color of the top too. So I'll change this top rectangle to this peach color and I'm going to use my move tool to drag this halfway up. I'm going to change the color of the second one to this red and then drag it halfway over on the vertical. I want to select these top two rows and the first thing I'm going to do is change the opacity to 50%. Now that's nice, but there's one additional step that I want to take and that's changing the blend mode to multiply. That gives me a little bit more contrast, which I like better. So that's it, this is now a seamless pattern. If I tile this, it's going to tile perfectly. So I'll go up to the top here, choose export, and I'm going to leave the size as is, change this to peach gingham two. I already have one in there. I'll click okay and save. And now I'm gonna head back to GoodNotes and import that into the tape. Okay, I'll head up to the top here and I want to choose this plus sign and upload from files. I'll grab that file that I just created and I'm all set. I have the wider tape selected here. If you want to change this, the thickness of the tape, you can and drag that out. And there we go. I have my gingham tape. So I can make this as wide as I want and it's going to tile perfectly because I started with a seamless pattern. One other thing that I want to note here is that with the ones that are built in, you do have the ability to change their colors. You can't do that with the ones that you pull in. You can see that that's grayed out here. If you want to change your colors, just go back to your original design, adjust your colors, save it as a separate file and import it. So what kind of patterns do you see yourself creating for your GoodNotes planner? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions or a suggestion for a tutorial that you'd like to see here on the channel, let me know that as well. I'm currently creating an entire series on planner creation and affinity publisher and designer for iPad, including a tutorial on how to create realistic textured washi tape stickers for GoodNotes. So be sure to hit subscribe so you always know when a new tutorial is published. In the meantime, you might want to check out one of these two next. Thanks for watching.